Our next eminent speaker is Councillor Cooper Krush, Sr., who is currently serving as the Minister of Post and Telecommunication, Telecommunication in Liberia. He previously served as the former Deputy Commissioner of the Capital's Customs and Exiles and also the former Deputy Commissioner for Internal Revenue. He is a lawyer by profession and has been providing legal services free of charge to those less fortunate. It's a great pleasure to have him with us this afternoon, and I invite him to come and say a few words. <clears throat> it's hardness, it's hoardiness, heads of uh, other Ahmadiyya mission around the world who are present here today, Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm honored and gratified for this opportunity to address the annual convention of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Association of the United Kingdom. I bring you greetings from our president, Dr. George Manuweer, by whose permission I'm here to be a part of your unique convention. Unique in the sense that the preparation and participation are quite amazing. You develop a city in a place I'm told is a, is a farmland without notice. You are hardness. The relationship that exists between Liberia and the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission began sometimes in 1952. When for the first time one of your missionaries in Sierra Leone, Hamar Sade, paid a visit to our late president, William V. Stadman. Sometimes in 1956, the Ahmadiyya mission was formally established in Liberia. From a small group, and without any interference from the government, you now have grown up to developing huge membership based upon our population. When you speak of 85,000 members in Liberia, we think that's a huge development over a short period. We also want to recognize the fact that the Ahmadiyya mission in Liberia has been contributing not only to their missionary works, but they have been a partner in contributing to our education assistance in contributing to the healthcare delivery of our country. This will remain grateful. We also like to say that about Liberia have had some difficult period in the past. And during those difficult days, there are always many friends that came to the aid of our country. And that the Ahmadiyya mission was also always there. During our 15 years of civil crisis, Ahmadiyya was there in Liberia. During our most recent Ebola crisis in Liberia, the doors of the, of the clinic of the of Ahmadiyya mission in Liberia remain open. And because of the prayers of your hardness, not one employee of Ahmadiyya mission in Liberia contracted the disease. This was in our minds, the work of other. As we continue to work together as a nation and as a community or as a religion, religion organization, we want to assure you that our country, in our organic law, the Constitution, we encourage free association. So that's why your membership, those of your followers in our own country, have never been molested, non harassed. We want to encourage the, the friendship that, or the partnership that we've established. We want to encourage you. You can venture in other areas in the country. You now have educational facilities, nine learning institutions, three uh, medical clinics. We look forward to seeing a Ahmadiyya University in Liberia. We look forward to seeing 
and Ahmadiyya Hospital in Liberia, all in the interest of our people and the organization. Thank you very much, and we look forward to participating in your program in the future.